So once Z Freak hits level six, Bounty's coming online and actually Kirino He's the supporter. She has 320 base movement speed. Oh, we get a charge down bottom though. That 17% bash came out onto Pain. He'll get another one. That's two bashes in three hits. And that is going to be a first blood for Z Freak. Bring Move Meander, but there's some backup coming in from Z Freak once again. And they do spot Joe out, who's level one, only has 300 health. And look at that damage coming in from Janata. Charges there. He just ignores yeah. Pain. Goes for this kill. Gets it. Z Freak doing some serious damage early on for this Lion. And this lane is lost. Lion. And uh, yeah, Karina will be nuked down thanks to Swindlemelon's connecting with uh, three spells there. First Lightning, setting up the Split Earth, and then going for a follow-up Lightning for the kill there. That slowing effect. They're going to go for the full dive here. Moon Meander really? ready for it. And yeah, they need some big TP response very quickly. Without an ensnare, it's Moon versus Wop. He'll charge forward with the Aura, amplifying that and getting the kill. Now Swindle just does Aura damage, or the Pulse Nova, and they're going to be able to finish off Guayo as they pursue into the tree line here. Guayo still actually alive for a moment, but Moon, he has another charge if he needs it, but that lucky bash keeps his mana safe. So that's to kind of make up for the last hit deficit against the Leshrac, but um, Guayo is actually going to get caught out here pretty hard, and Ensnare will only help so much as he gets hit by that Split Earth and uh, will be killed off, and yeah, I, I feel that... Now they can put some pressure here onto the bottom lane. They're actually going to get the charge onto Pain. He'll blood right, but another bash sets up the Janata Shuriken, and they do get another kill. Man, this Bloodseeker having a really hard time, and you can see how frustrated Pain is about that greater bash. Just coming out every single time that Moomiander needs it, and he's going in again. Joa has two stuns, doesn't use either of them, trying to bait them under the tower, what? but he goes down instead. Oh, the Nether Strike from the freshly level 6 Spirit Breaker. Gets, sets up the triple kill for Z Freak, and suddenly this bounty hunter is about to hit, hit level 6. They call it right now. They know they can't deal with a Spirit Breaker and a bounty hunter that's gotten this many kills. Z Freak's 5 and 0, and Moomiander 2 0 5. This game was literally won by the RNG of the Spirit Breaker, and there's nothing EGX can do about it. RNGG. It happens. Well, a little bit of rage. Um, <laughs> you could tell, like you said, how frustrated he was. That, that is really unfortunate at times when that happens, but uh, six and a half minute game.